hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys let me show you the error first activation tab if you are facing this issue we can't activate window on this device right now you can try activating again later or go to the store to buy a gen 1 windows code and error code is 0 into 800 error code could be different but in this video i will show you how to fix this issue so if you have recently formatted your windows or changed your ssd you might get this issue so how you can fix it you need to reactivate your windows on this device so first step we need to click on troubleshoot and troubleshoot setting will automatically detect the issue and will automatically resolve your key issue detecting activation problem we were unable to activate window on this device troubleshooting has completed but it couldn't fix the issue so i need to select this option i change hardware on this device recently and you need to log in with your microsoft account from which you have activated your windows or you have purchased your license key and also you need to make sure that you have logged in with your microsoft account so use your microsoft account here login with your microsoft account select your current windows password then click on next so this has been logged in by microsoft account but it is still unable to fix your issue we can't find any link to this device it is saying like that you need to click on this option see other devices link to your microsoft account you need to make sure that genuine window has not been used for on more than the microsoft devices times terms license if your microsoft is activated more than the terms i mean the one two three devices with the same account you might get this issue and you have to remove the another account from your windows remove the another account from your windows and thereafter activate the windows but I'm not getting the option to reactivate it so I have to go back now close it now if after applying these methods your issue is still not resolved then you can click on change license and you need to re-enter your purchase license key here but if you don't have your product key right now and it is linked to your PC then you need to make sure that you can close this and go to troubleshoot setting here type a troubleshoot open the troubleshoot setting other troubleshooter and run the windows update this one sometime due this happens due to new windows corrupt the issue our windows and simply run this troubleshooter if it is not running just go back again
so if nothing works for you and you are completely sure that you are, you are entering the correct key but still not working so you can go to get help and talk with a microsoft that you are using the gen 1 key and it is not working and they should able to figure it out otherwise you can get a new license key from store just open that link and you can purchase a product key from the Microsoft simply get for 14,799 and use your Microsoft account log in with that pay the amount as per the instructions and pay it and after that just click on again change your product key enter the new purchased key license and you should able to fix your issue so i hope guys this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching